In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Arch Linux on your computer in a few minutes. This is the easiest Arch Linux installation guide that will walk you through quickly installing and setting up your favorite desktop environment on any PC or laptop. As a demonstration, I will be installing Arch Linux on my computer running the latest Windows 11 operating system. I have allocated a dedicated and empty drive for this purpose where I will be installing Arch Linux. Now this setup will result in a dual boot configuration with both operating systems running from separate drives. However, if you prefer to install Arch Linux alongside Windows 11 on the same drive, I have included a link to a video in the description section. Simply follow the link and check it out. Now with that being said, it's time to get started with the Arch Linux installation process. First, head over to the Arch Linux website and download the ISO image. Once the download is complete, you will need to burn the ISO to your USB drive. Now make sure that you have an 8 gigs or higher pen drive and connect it to your computer. You can use Rufus, DD or Belena Etcher to create a bootable USB with Arch Linux. For the sake of this video, I will be using Rufus to burn the Arch Linux ISO. Once the flashing process is complete, restart your PC or laptop into the boot menu and look for your USB drive. Now select the bootable drive and choose to boot from the installation media. Now you can see it has successfully booted into the Arch Linux installation setup. The first thing is to check you have a stable internet connection. If your computer is connected to the internet via ethernet, you can use the ping command to check the connection. If your computer has a built-in Wi-Fi support, you can use the IWCTL tool to connect to the internet. To use IWCTL, simply type IWCTL in the terminal to enter the IWD shell mode. Then type device list to see a list of network interfaces. Now look for wireless LAN and then run device space WLAN 0 space show to see more information about the WLAN interface. Next, run the command station space WLAN 0 space connect and enter the name of your Wi-Fi network. Then press the written key and enter the Wi-Fi password. After entering the password, wait for 5 seconds and press the enter key to connect to the internet. You may not see any output, but if the connection was successful, you can simply exit the IWD mode. And that's it, you have successfully connected to the internet and you are ready to continue with the Arch Linux installation process. Now run the ping command and make sure you are receiving the packets. Alright, as you can see, I have connected to my computer via SSH. Now type pacman-sy to synchronize the system packages and upgrade them to the latest version. It's time to format the drive and prepare it for the Arch Linux installation. Type lsblk in the terminal to view a list of all connected drives. Now in my case, devsdb is the drive where I want to install Arch Linux. You can also use the fdisk space dash l command to see more information about the drives. It's important to be careful and make sure that you're formatting the correct drive. Now once you have confirmed the correct drive, run the command gdisk space devsdb to launch the gdisk. Now replace the sdb with the appropriate one. Now in the gdisk tool, press x to enter the expert mode and then press z to erase the drive. Now follow the prompts to complete the drive erasing process. Now at this point, the drive sdb should be brand new and free of any partitions. Now launch the Arch Linux installer script by typing arch install in the terminal. 
If the command is not found, you can install the required package by running this command. The Arch install streamlines the Arch Linux installation process, making it faster and easier. Now use the arrow keys to navigate through the options, then set the system language by selecting your option. The first five options can be left at their default values. Next, highlight the drive that you want to install Arch Linux. Now in my case, it's devsdb. Select the drive by pressing either the spacebar or the tab key. You can see an asterisk between the square brackets to indicate that the drive has been selected. Then press the enter key to return to the main menu. Now select the disk layout option and choose the second option to wipe the drive and use the default partition layout. You can choose BTRFS as the file system for the installation. Additionally, if you want to secure your installation with an encryption, you can set an encryption password. Next, select the bootloader. You have the option to use either the systemd or the grub bootloader. I'm going to choose grub. I will leave the swap value set to true and leave the hostname as arslinux. Now after that, set the root password to assign a password for the root user. Then create a new user account. You can even add the new user to the sudoers list for elevated privileges. Now scroll up and choose to confirm and exit. It's time to install the desktop environment. To do so, select the profile option and choose desktop. The Arch install script offers a plethora of options to choose from, but for this demonstration, I will opt for the Plasma desktop environment. Next, select the graphic drivers that you want to install. If you have a dedicated NVIDIA graphics card, choose the proprietary or Nauvoo driver accordingly. Then select the audio option and choose the audio server. For best results on most computers, it's recommended to use Pipewire. If you wish, you can also install additional kernels, but for now, I will stick with the default or the latest available kernel. Under the Additional Packages option, you can specify a list of tools to be installed separated by spaces. After that, select the Network Configuration and choose to use the Network Manager. Finally, select your time zone to set the correct time on your system. Now go ahead and check all the options and haven't left anything blank. Once you have confirmed all the options, select the install option and wait for a few seconds for Arch Linux to be fully installed on your computer. And that's it, within a few steps you have successfully installed Arch Linux using the Arch install script. The prompt to perform the post-installation steps will appear once the installation has been completed. Select yes to enter the chroot environment and start customizing your new Arch Linux installation. Now it's time to install the useful tools such as Firefox, LibreOffice, and BPyTop. Once you have finished installing, exit the chroot environment and type reboot to restart your computer. The computer should automatically boot into the Arch Linux, but in case it doesn't, you can select the drive from the boot menu. And that's pretty much it. This is how you can quickly and easily install Arch Linux in just 5 minutes using the Arch install script. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching this video. This has been KSKRL.
I will see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,